Welcome to the Q&A segment. Thank you for sending in all those questions. We had so many questions that we couldn't believe we we're going to have so many responses like that. Thank you once again for sending in such questions. So the Q&A questions range from career switch to career advice to personal questions for me as well as working in big four consulting firms. So let's get it started. Now the first question is this, how realistic is it for me to have a career switch? In answering these questions, we reached out to some HR personnel for their perspectives on career switch. And putting all together, this is the response. Number one, in engaging in a career switch, you have to understand the competency structure of the industry you want to switch to. In getting a career switch, you also have to develop your skill set to make sure it fits into the position you are applying for. Apply for volunteer roles for the industry you are trying to get into. And you can also volunteer your services free of charge to get the necessary experience that you need. Now, and one thing that is common in career switch is you have to make up your mind that you may have to take a pay cut. Now, for those that reached out to say um, they were concerned about their age barriers, well, what I would say is you just have to keep being hopeful. Now, don't let people discourage you about whether or not you, you are suitable for a career switch. Everything is possible. Please don't give up. Our quest second question is this. How can I advance in my career and recover lost time? Now, for you to advance in your career, wherever it is you are working, you have to demonstrate excellence. You have to demonstrate that you have the capacity to do more. You should volunteer yourself for ad hoc assignments. You should make sure that you are supporting the organizational views and stru structures. In addition to that, make sure that you are developing yourself. Make sure you have the drive to learn. You, you have the desire to do more. With this, I'm sure you are going to get the required promotion. Our third question is this. How did you grow in your career without overseas education? Now, for me, my only strategy is to develop myself and not position myself for any company. It is not about the company, it is about you. And what you despise, preparation always meets with opportunity. So if you have invested in yourself, a, 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 a good company or your dream company will support you and you will get hired. Our fourth question is this, is an on-site MBA really necessary or can I opt for an online MBA? Now, this question is about postgraduate studies and people's opinion with respect to this is diverse. While some believe on-site is the best, some believe you can achieve the same objective with online. So this is what I will say to you. It depends on your objective. It depends on so many other factors. It depends on the funding and as well as your ability to study online and make sure that you achieve the necessary goal. We have this question that says, what does it take to be a big four employee? And how can I get a big four employment? Now, what it takes, the big four consulting firms always seek the best and the brightest. The reason being that their only capital is human resource. And because of this, they have minimum requirements of who they want to hire. You have to have the right attitude. Let me tell you this, technical skills with bad attitude is bad news. You have to make sure that you have the right attitude, that people want to work with you, that you're a good team player. In addition to this, um, the Big Four is a fast-paced environment, so you have to make sure that your skills sets are up to date and they fit the role that you want to apply for. Now, how do you get into the Big Four? I've shared a story before that whilst I was in banking in my first job, I wanted to be in the big four. I went ahead and wrote the test, but I didn't pass. And so it made getting a career switch from banking into consulting difficult for me. And I'd already given up on working in a big four until later when I got an opportunity. How do you get it? Number one, you have to understand the minimum requirements for the big four. 
they usually have minimum requirements. So check what the minimum requirement is and make sure that you work towards having that minimum requirement. You also need to get the necessary professional certification. So for instance, if you studied accountancy, you should know that you should be a chartered accountant, whether through ICANN or ACCA. You should also follow the firm that you want on LinkedIn because they would always post opportunities, especially for graduate training programs. Graduate training programs are once a year. So if you're a graduate and you know that the big four consulting firm is where you want to start your career, make sure that you're following these four big four firms on LinkedIn. In addition to that, you have to network with people that are in the firm that you choose to work with so that they can give you information on when these opportunities are available because most times especially for experienced hire what you find out is that your jobs are not going to be advertised it is your friend or your relationship that will tell you about an opening i have this question that says what challenges have you faced in your career from the personal story i shared you would agree with me that I faced a lot of challenges from job loss from challenges in having the career switch from poor academic history whilst in school to job hunting where I lost my job and for so many months I was jobless and I was seriously hunting for a job. So I faced many challenges but like I said your situation should not define who you are. I have this question that says what keeps people in consulting? My experience is long hours, late nights and sacrificed weekends. When I got this question, it was very hilarious to me and what came to my mind is irony of life because I have so many questions on people asking on how to get big for employment and I asked this person who is in the big four and is dissatisfied with the sacrifice he has to make in being a big four employee. But this is what I will say to you, you have to love your job. If you don't love your job, I don't know what you are doing there. Now, I enjoy where I work and I'm always happy going to work every morning. So for me, whether I'm paid or I'm not paid, I'll still show up at work. Hello guys, thank you for listening to me. I hope I've been able to answer your questions. I would please say that you should subscribe to this YouTube channel. You should like the video. You should share it because you might be helping somebody and you should leave your comments on how we can make it better. We are going to be having an event at the end of the year and it's going to be very big. But before then, I'd like you to know that this um, event will be open to those that subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe to this channel. Thank you and see you soon. I believe that you are unlimited.